Hello everyone, this is ATP Transit and I'm here today with an air horn sourced from a retired Bart Acar. And this horn itself was um, set aside to be preserved by the Western Railway Museum. So as you can tell, this air horn is made by Grover. It's uh, similar to a fire truck horn. It's actually a model 1702. It was originally painted black. You sort of see um, a little bit of that. But over 4 million miles of wear and tear have produced this varying uh, canvas of shades of brown. Air horns were first installed on the Legacy Fleet in the early 1970s after an employee was hit by a train. Um, they were installed on a few cars at first, and then uh, delivered with the later A cars, and of course with the C1 and C2 cars. The air supply of these horns was sourced from the pneumatic system of the car, which was used to inflate the airbag suspension system alongside throwing the reverser for older cars. The air horn was used very rarely. The most common usage was to warn people standing on the yellow strip at the edge of the platform, alongside warning employees on the right of way. And um, another modification around the 2010s was um, if you press the emergency stop button, the air horn would also be activated. This is also following in another incident. So let's go uh, test out this air horn. <laughs> Bye. Uh...